you with a rap look. Hello, I'm Haley. This is the Severe Weather Outlook, where we also talk about earthquakes. And I have to be quite frank here that days like this are extremely difficult because there was a massive earthquake. And I cannot do justice to the reporting of this event. 7.2 magnitude in eastern Turkey. It hit outside of Vaughan. So if you zoom in, you can get a little bit of a perspective of just how close this struck. It was also a fairly shallow earthquake. And of course, it doesn't have to be this way, but the, the shallower earthquakes do tend to be more destructive. And also, if you look over at the Al Jazeera site, apparently poor building construction quality may have also had a big play in that. Um, but this is the largest earthquake to hit the Turkey region since 1999s. Let's see, it was a 7.6 magnitude. It hit over there and 17,000 people lost their lives through that. And Wikipedia right now, it's at 74, but frankly, I'm sure it's going to rise much, much higher by the time all is said and done. Something kind of interesting is if you look at this, so let me go back over here. Here is where the earthquake's epicenter was. And if you look at this diagram that's got all of the different faults, and you can see it's kind of an intersection area where this happened. So let's see what else. This happened uh, 1.41 in the afternoon, their time. Uh, 6.41 Eastern, 5.41 Central. And this pretty much is the largest earthquake of the day. And they've also had several aftershocks, as you can see which of course that never helps matters if you're trying to get in and do search and rescue to have m more aftershocks occurring, kind of a lot like what was happening in New Zealand when they had the big one and then there's all these other things going on all the time. So pretty much um, for the strong earthquakes today, this is the page that has the magnitude five and, and stronger earthquakes, pretty much all but one of them was right there in that area. And then we have one out here. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Palau region. But one... So a seven, might, a seven is a fairly massive earthquake, especially whenever it hits near a, you know, a populated area. But to give you some perspective, this is... So there's the seismograph type numbers where you get... That's the 7.2, I believe it was. Let's get back. Yes, 7.2. If you look at this, this is the modified Mercalli intensity scale, MMI, where this is um, the USGS takes human reports of how they felt like the shaking and what was the damage. And if you see in the US map, the strongest was a recent one in Texas on the 20th, it looks like. Well, it was a six. If you jump to the world, a nine. The Turkey earthquake was a nine. And the scale goes to 10. If you look down here, a nine correlates to violent shaking and heavy damage. So a very serious situation in Turkey. But so moving on to weather things, we have wintry type things up there where we've got a freeze watch and we've got the flood warnings. We've got uh, this slightly pinkish area is extreme fire danger. If we go over here, the drought monitor map looks a whole lot like it's been looking for a while. We've still got lots of areas with exceptional drought. That's the most severe drought on this map. So Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, and a bit of Arizona still, still in the dry zone, if you want to call it that. And here is who will be getting, this is the five-day quantitative precipitation forecast. So there's going to be a little bit of rain out in Texas, but that's not going to really be enough to reverse the drought conditions, I'm sure. There is a new entry in the... These are the river gauges and the flooding. There's 11 locations in flood. If you click on that to show just the major flooding, apparently we've got something out in Louisiana. Let's see if we can find out what that looks like. So if you zoom in... So... So that I generally, generally it will show some kind of lead up. But so we've got uh, that would be normal. And then for some reason, it's way above major. Bundit Creek at 
Bundik Lake. So I don't know if something happened out there. Obviously, I'm not really well informed. Here's today's map for severe weather, where apparently there's not much going on. N less than 5% chance for hail. Sorry. For wind, but 5% chance of hail up in this area. So sort of, this is the, the thunderstorm area is what this map shows when there's no slight risk to show. And then this specifically shows like where th severe thunderstorm type stuff is possible. And then less than 2% chance of a tornado. Nothing really tomorrow. There's thunderstorm areas, but there is no chance of severe as of now anyhow. No tropical cyclones forecasted at this time in the eastern Pacific. And over in the Atlantic, 60% chance there and 10% chance. And if you want to look at where the 60% chance, if it forms where it might go, it could go anywhere. So some of the models are saying it could go there. Some say there. Some say, hey, we're going to book and go vacation in Florida. So what do we do? We'll keep an eye on it, of course, at wickedwicks.com. We won't keep an eye on the hurricanes there, but I will keep an eye on it. Anyway, yes. Wicked Wicks is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. If you want this lovely earthquake, it's earthquakestoday.org. And if you want to hear the full song, we'll, we'll have it play us out. <laughs> 